Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to my full plan and walkthrough for Resident Evil Village. This is part 13, and we're going to the Village 2 this time. So, we're still in Mercenaries mode, we've done all of them the first time around. We're now going to flip the maps and go into Shadow of uh, Village of the Shadows difficulty, basically. <laughs> but without a shotgun and without a sniper rifle. So, all we have is our trusty pistol. Uh, you can see we only need 516,000 for S rank. That's all we're aiming for is the S rank. You can also see that ammo is now missing, but there will be lay there instead. Uh, what you're going to want to do is fully upgrade the power on the Lemmy, uh, and then rate of fire 1, reload speed 1, uh, one 2 in capacity, uh, I think it is. Uh, let's just have a quick look here. Yeah, 2 in capacity there. We'll fully upgrade this thing. Uh, throughout so don't worry and uh, yeah this so this is a lot more different than you were used to the map is exactly the same the enemy placement is exactly the same but we're on the harder difficulty and we only have the pistol so you need to have a few uh, you need to have a good feel for how the the enemies move and um, how quick the pistol is with regards to what sort of shots you're gonna have left you want to keep an eye out on your magazine as well now the the best thing, the best tip I can give you is these guys. If you shoot them in the leg once, they will drop to the floor. That gives you openings, and it also means that their head is facing right towards you, and you can just shoot them three or four times into the head once they drop to their knees. Now, um, when it comes to the blue orbs, it's the same again. Whatever you think is best are the options that you get. Uh, you want more power, you want more more health as well, it's actually quite good on this. We are on the harder difficulty now, so two hits and you will be dead. So don't be selling your uh, healing items this time around, we want to be keeping those. And uh, yeah, take it relatively slowly as well. Manage your enemy um, enemies, if you, you have a bit of time left, leave one, put him on his knees or whatever. Move up to that, like you see there, I'm put him on his knees, I want to move up to this, I want to hit this. And then I want to finish one off then. So uh, there is actually some lay to the right hand side of me. I'll go and get that later on. If you have an opportunity, grab it there. It's on the gravestone. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to push towards this one. This is where the second uh, blue orb is. So there's going to be another um, werewolf guy here. He's going to come running towards you. Now the big problem obviously is the harder enemies in this one. We do only have the pistol at this point. We will have the magnum for the... Uh, the, from the remainder for the next two areas but it was only very limited ammo and you can't refill the ammo so you need to use your shots sparingly now once you've been up here you need to kind of drop this one and be ready to if you can edge out here to about here and then kill him and then um, be aware that this guy is going to be coming up behind you or you can try and run for I cut it really fine here with this kill get lucky uh, I'm just getting there. I was about to go run up and get that lay, but I thought I'd leave it for now. I'll get it uh, once we've finished the combo. So with this difficulty, the idea is survive and get a relatively good score. The scoring is not as high as it was in the previous difficulty. So the score does not need to be as good. Surviving is the main thing. So if you get, uh, in sp especially in the factory and the mad village, you if you get uh, a perfect run on the first part of the factory then you can you can pretty much just walk wander around the second part and not even bother you can get an s rank pretty much in the first part uh, again with the mad village you can get an s rank by the time you get to the second uh, the end of the second part i believe roughly about there so yeah you don't need to worry too much as long as you nail the first part so this bit and then the second part you're going to be pretty much there so it's it's learning fewer areas this time around. It's more about surviving it. So uh, yeah, uh, with obviously with the big guys there, you just see them rush towards me. You just need to be firing. Yeah, that, <laughs> I was running towards that, and as I was doing it, I was thinking I'm not going to fit through there. So yeah, don't do that. I was trying to run to the orb behind him. I'll do that in a moment. Obviously, I want to keep the uh, the combo going, so that's why I did it. So you're going to see me doing that a lot, is dropping them to their knees, and it obviously brings the head down to where you're already aiming anyway. It's much easier to hit the legs than the head, I find. Uh, there you go, that's one. Just the one left, he's going to be down here, and then we'll clean up. We'll do a quick run around and grab a few things. So yeah, money is a lot more important, obviously, because you, um, you need to fully upgrade the pistol, or there, thereabouts. 
and by the Magnum. So the Magnum is going to be 20,000. So I'm just going to grab this. What do we get? Magic Magazine. Execution is handy um, for when you're getting really close. You know, when you've got a big guy and you're getting really close on the, the timer. That extra damage on the, the last 30% of health is going to help out. So make sure you grab the magazine, uh, the pistol ammo from the middle of the sort of cenotaph thing up there. And then run up. I'm just going to run up here and get this lay off this gravestone. We need as much as we can. It's 2,000. Yes, I know I should be using the uh, back and circle to do a 180, but I always forget. <laughs> Very niche places where I'll do it. So what do we get to here? So after area one, we are almost at 300,000. So yeah, if you have a good area one and a good area two, then you are going to be pretty much there. It With this difficulty, it's more about get to the end. So if you think you might make it or whatever, just go to the end. The, the worst case scenario is you're going to learn the area more. Uh, and you might actually get an S rank without... You, you, you can actually make a lot more mistakes this time around. Um, because your score is not as important. Obviously, it's important, but it's not as important as surviving and getting there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put the Magnum up in the top. So you can see you only have five rounds. That is it. So it doesn't reload in between rounds. So five and done. So you want to keep it for very specific places. Uh, there we go. We're just going to drop him on his knees. I'm going to run up here, get this time. And then get this time here, around here. And drop him to his knees. So you've got the three archers up here. Archers can be a real pain on this difficulty because obviously two hits and you're dead. So I'm just going to try and soften him up a, a bit. I'm going to try and run for this blue orb in a minute. Um, but be aware that enemies will follow you. Unfortunately, I do. I thought I was going to get away with that. Get double hit then. So it was hit by the, the this guy here and then with an arrow as well. So extra health from a blue orb is definitely more helpful this time around as well. Uh, obviously damage um, magazine is good out of reach is quite good as well shooting to, from a distance uh, yeah it's like I said it's exactly the same enemy placement so if you remember it from the first time around it's going to help you out a lot as well he's run off so we can't do him Let's shoot him down uh, again if you're on PS5 I mentioned this really early on but if you're on PS5 uh, and you're finding the adaptive triggers be, be a bit of a pain uh, and you find that you're shooting too slow or it looks like I'm shooting quicker than you are. Uh, I'm on the PS4 version but on a PS5. Uh, if I've done the PS5 version as well but turn the adaptive triggers off. It feels like you're able to shoot quicker. It's some, it's great, it feels pretty cool, it's realistic, you get that resistance, what have you. But when you just want to shoot as quickly as possible in a mode like this, not so good. So turn it off, it can help. Or even if it just feels like it's helping. Uh, yeah, so that was a bit. I'm gonna drop my combo here because it was a bit of a delay. I shouldn't. I don't usually kill that enemy up there. He did manage to run off on me. So this guy was obviously a tougher one. He's gonna take a while to take down. Almost got there. You see that extra 30% help in there. Uh, that extra damage on the 30%. And then you just gotta make your way up here. You should be able to f keep your combo going fairly easily if you make it to that big guy quickly enough. Uh, if your placement is a bit better. This one, and then you're going to want to try and hit the barrel behind. He, it, he can move a bit, he can be a bit of a pain, this guy. Try and hit the barrel. It'll take him out, but it'll weaken this one. And then you want to go up here, look to the left. You can have an archer, take care of him. There's going to be one coming to the right hand side, so you want to do this quickly. Quickly turn to the right. And he's not there this time, because of course he's not. <laughs> he's usually running down after you. This time, switch to the Magnum, just two shots. Don't waste another, so just be two shots to the chest. Don't go for the head, go for sort of the chest. Uh, that second one kind of hit the head. So I think it's this guy, he can chase you down and be stood next to you when you're shooting that other guy, so be aware of that. Uh, and then you want to make it up here, hit this blue thing, get whichever's best for you. I'll go with health on this one, don't need to move particularly quickly. Take this one down, and then the one in the distance, if we, oh, see, that's one arrow. So you definitely want to keep hold of your health as well. Uh, this one's not too bad. The most difficult of these is going to be, uh, unfortunately, is the castle, which is the next one. And then the two after that, um, factory and mad village, are actually very simple, very good, easy. Um, straightforward, not easy. They're, they're a lot more straightforward. 
And then you've got your four archers. Don't stand out in the open when you've got these. You've got the one where I was, above where I was there. Two in front, and then this guy. And you should be done. So, clean enough. I did drop my combo. It's okay. It was clean enough. Just grab any money that's close. I thought I saw some there. Any money that's close, and just make a break for it. We're going to be pretty close now on score. Yeah, we just need... Yeah, <laughs> we're very, very close. 50,000 will do it. So I'm just going to upgrade. Uh, do we get? Yeah, we get the full upgrade on the pistol here. And then if you've got any over, buy some health or pipe bomb. Pipe bombs are good. You want a couple of those. Uh, there is one of the big, the big werewolf at the end of this one. It doesn't matter if you don't kill him, and again, it doesn't matter if you die. If you die and you're already over the score threshold for the, your rank, you will still get it. So don't worry. So as soon as you hit that that score that we need, you'll be good. So take the first one down. Make a bit of a mess of this one. Take him down. Try and hide back where I am now. The two archers are in the top corner. You're going to see them. So you don't want to get hit, obviously. You do need to be a bit more protective. Yeah, I find reload speed is kind of underrated. Um, I like the reload speed. I like being able to reload really quickly. Now, it's up to you if you want to try and get this guy with the magnum or with the pistol. I go for the magnum. You could probably do it with the pistol, uh, with the lemmy, if you wanted to. Don't worry. You w um, I, I waste a shot afterwards by accident. So it is, you do need exactly five shots, really. Uh, but I, I fix it anyway, so don't worry. So there's three in here, which, uh, if you remember my first village video, if you've seen that one, there wasn't three, and I did miss one. Uh, so that's where he was, the missed one. He didn't sort of spawn properly. So shoot this one to keep the combo going. And then we're going to shoot this one. You can go and get that time bonus if you want. Uh, you you sh should have enough time to run back and get this guy. Uh, or you can just press forward. Time bonus. I mean, we're nearly there on score anyway, so it's okay. So around here, you want to grab a pipe bomb, just throw it in here, kill these three quickly. And then you've got one of the big guys, the, the drill guys. Unfortunately, he, just as I'm about to shoot, this was a mess. Uh, so you ideally just want to hit one shot into his chest and kill him. I used both, so I've got no magnum ammo left at all uh, for the big guy right at the end, the big werewolf. Uh, you need to be quick here. Chances are you probably will drop your combo. Uh, if you shoot better than that, you might keep it. <laughs> it is possible, uh, but I was a bit slow on that. These two down here. Got three here. And then you've got the uh, the drill arm guy in the, the building. He's quite simple. You just hit the red barrel and finish him off quickly. Shoot him while he's got his back turned to you. There is a blue thing. We're not going to bother with that blue orb. We're done here. So quickly kill him. And then run down and finish the area off. So we could just run to the exit in this point and still be good. Would still make it with score-wise anyway. So you might as well go for it because if you die, that's the worst case scenario. You'll still make it. But, uh, yeah. If you want to just run for the exit, go for it. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to try and clean these out. So if you've got one magnum ammo left, that big werewolf is not a problem. Just go for a headshot. It's not going to move until you engage it so you can just line up a headshot and kill it in one go uh, I don't have that luxury so you can see how little damage this thing does so I'll try and stagger it a bit with that I do have some uh, some explosive left so I'll use that I've got the pipe bomb I'll use the the mine here as well and then we'll finish him off with the pistol there we go can't get past him run <laughs> And that should be uh, double S rank. So you only need S rank, don't forget. So uh, you don't need to be as good. That was not clean whatsoever, and you should be fine, honestly. Uh, although the next one, Castle, can be a bit of a problem. We'll, uh, we'll try and get it sorted, though. Try and get it nice and uh, simplified. Right. That's it for this one. You're just going to unlock the Castle too. That's it this time around. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.